Okay, I'm back. It's J.D. Nyjah, Word of Truth with J.D. Nyjah. Coffee with J.D. Nyjah. Let me get a sip of this coffee real quick before I continue. All right. So we're going into the Jacob's Ladder and what 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 is the earth and what is this vision that Jacob had? Um, before I get started, I'm going to say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Most High of um, Yahweh Shai, your, your only begotten son, I pray that this message breaks through some of the nonsense that the devil has been telling people and edifies the children of Israel and the believers who are listening. Amen. Um, so I was reading the story of Jacob's ladder and he's talking about the ladder being set on the earth and he's laying down a bunch of rocks as pillows. So I was saying how you can't set a ladder on anything moving. So if the earth is moving, how could you set a ladder on it that goes up to heaven? It doesn't make any sense. It would have to be off the earth so the earth could spin under it. And he doesn't say that. He doesn't say, I saw a, la a ladder and it almost touched the earth as the earth spun around and angels were coming up and down on it. No, he said it's set on the earth. So as a, as a normal thinking person, if you believe the Bible, the fucking ladder was set, set on the earth like a ladder is set on the earth when you climb up and fucking change a light bulb. So I care for the... Um, Swahili, but it's like for someone who has biblical spiritual mindset, uh, this nonsense that Esau pushes out about a spinning wet ball rocket flying through space and all that nonsense, these planets, and it's a lie. And it's not going to do you any good to believe that because the Lord's going to go, You believed, <laughs> He's going to laugh in your face. You, <laughs> He's not even going to be able to spit it out. He's going to be laughing so hard. And you're going to be so ashamed of yourself for not knowing your your story, the Bible. This is your story. This is all of our stories. Whether you're a heathen, a Moabite, an Ammonite, or an Israelite, a believer, um, it's it's all of our stories. And that's that's the bottom line is when it comes down to it. Um, if you don't realize that the Bible is your story, and to find yourself in the book of life, that's the goal. Where am I in this book? Who am I in this book? And how should I be behaving? Um, if you're not in the book, you're probably a heathen. And the only reason you're in, your story is in there is because you are going to be destroyed. And you're just like this guy walking by. See that? That's a, that's a heathen for the most part. It's got to be. He walks like someone dead. He thinks like someone dead. He has no. He's not thinking about God right now. He's thinking about whatever he's thinking about he looks like a Moab, Moabite a um, a person of the Chinese persuasion you know you got the Ammonites the Japanese these are heathen nations and if they're not if they're not mixed with Israelite in their father's bloodline they are only here as a NPC but that's that's not the point. So, well, it kind of is too, because it says, um, and he just, and he dreamed, I'm going to read it. And he dreamed and beheld a ladder set up on the earth. You don't set up a ladder on something spinning. You don't set up a ladder on, um, something round that it's not smart. And that's why you have to read the Bible and go, Oh, wow. How did he set? how did he set up a ladder? On a spinning wet ball rocket flying through space. No. So, at the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. So, the spirits, what he's talking about when he's talking about the angels, he's talking about the spirits. Um, and the angels in particular, these ones he's talking about, um, are... Not only the saints, like myself, I'm an angel. I go up and down that ladder. When I die, I go back up. 
and I'm, I'm in the spirit world. And then when it's time, the Lord will um, conceive parents for me and down the ladder I come and out that f matrix, that, that womb. And I'm back in the, the 3D junkyard. If you know what, um, if you listen to my messages, you know that this is considered a 3D junkyard to a, a an angel. They look at this place like, what the hell is this? It's like a um, terrarium, a terrarium or whatever for them. They see a bunch of animals running around here, and it's when you're in the spirit world, this place looks ridiculous, and that's why the angels are always. Um, the ones that are in the spirit world that watch us are always in awe and in and <laughs> they're confounded because uh, to them in the spirit world in the other dimensions this 3D junkyard doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I'm just saying. <laughs> and behold, the Lord stood above it. That means He's up there. He stood. Do you stand <sighs> when you stand? Do you stand? on a something that's spinning or do you stand on firm ground if you're standing on something spinning you're gonna you're gonna spin out so he stood when you stand you stand on something and he stood above it and he said i am the lord abraham thy father and the god of isaac and the land where you liest to thee will i give and to thy seed he doesn't say i will give you a spinning um ball to live on he said I, the land where you la lie, land, um, terra firma, land. If you look up the word, it's it's a, it's not a ball. He doesn't say, in this ball that I give you, you will spin. He said, no, this land where you lie, I will give to you, and to your seed, your descendants. You and your you and your people are going to get this um, place to stand, this place to lie down. This place to set up camp, set, set up a ladder, set up a camp, set up a family, set up a house, set up a uh, future, set, it's set, it's, it's there, right, got it? And I see, verse 14 of Genesis, by the way, we're in Genesis, if you want to get your Bible, it's in 28 starts in 10 I'm in 14 now Genesis 28 14 and thy seed your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth and shall thou and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in thee and in thy seed all the families of the earth will be blessed so this these Israelites these the Lord saying your forefathers your your papa Isaac and your forefather Abraham this is the family this is your descendants I'm giving this land to you and that's how we know that the Israelites are God's chosen people because he told Jacob in this dream I'm going to give this land to you so what is this land is he talking about Haran is he talking about that one little spot yes and no but it's a metaphor it's, the, it's Haran but um, I could look up Haram, but I'm not going to do that. It's It probably means something like um, uh, Israel's dwelling place, original dwelling place. So when it says ori Israel's original dwelling place, it's saying the earth because he says that. It, um, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. We're going to blow all around the earth. If you're blown around as dust um, and you're on a spinning wet ball rocket, the dust is going to fly off into space. We, we wouldn't be able to stay on a spinning wet ball rocket for one thing. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to get away from the flat earth thing and get into the reality that <coughs> um, the dust, the land, the sky, um, everything that's in this uh, snow globe. So if you, if you look at biblical cosmology, it's basically a um, the easiest way to understand it is a is a flat circle with a dome over it, and it the Bible goes into um, he put a covering over it, and the covering is the firmament, and we could go all into that, but 
Um, I'm going to continue so that I don't ramble forever. <laughs> Verse 15, And behold, I am with you, and I will keep you in all places where you go, and will bring you again into this land, for I will not leave you until I have done that which I have spoken to you of. So he's telling them, your, your, your family is going to be everywhere, and this land is going to be yours, and um, even though you're scattered, I'll bring you back to this land. So he's saying, I'll bring you back to this original Haran, this um, original residence that, that we're standing on right here. And you'll know again, um, in other words, he's saying, I'll, you'll know, you'll know where you're at. Finally, you're not going to be confused by Esau telling you all kinds of nonsense about who you are and where you live. I'm going to bring you back to your, to your mind, your own mind, my mind. You're going to understand me and you're going to understand what I did for you. And you're going to understand the place I made for you. And that's, that's basically the lesson, and that's what he's saying. And, jo and Jacob awoke out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Huge, huge verse. And Jacob awoke out of his sleep. So we're, what, what's happening now, we're, we're waking up this woke culture. Um, Esau has weaponized the word woke against us. Are you woke? And they're they're bringing all this other nonsense into it. Do you know that uh, this, that, and the other black people? I'm woke. I can now. I can understand why men suck each other's dicks and why women get themselves turned into man. I'm I'm woke now. I no no no. That's not what woke is. Woke is when Jacob awoke out of his sleep and said, "Surely." The Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Big. I'm probably going to have to go into this again because this this is huge. Are you woke? Not that woke, you nincompoop. Do you know that God is in this place? And what is this place that God is in? I wish I was really good at... Um, uh, waiting and just hitting people over the head with this kind of stuff. But that's not what the Lord wants me to do. He wants you to have to sit with me and sup with me. That's that's what the Lord, Yahweh I did. You have to sit down long enough to have a meal, have some coffee with J.D. Nijah, sit your ass down, have a muffin, and listen And Jacob awoke out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. We don't know where we're at. I'm waking up. I'm 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 a, I'm awake. And that's the difference between oh woke uh I'm sick of this woke bullshit and blah blah blah. Or or I'm woke. I know I know what's up now. No, you don't. If you still think you're on a spinning web ball rocket. And that you can set a ladder on something round and not fall off. And that you came from monkeys and you and you turned into a human that can fly a helicopter. You're not woke. You're fucking fast asleep. Night night. Sleepy head. What's it say in the next verse? 17, 28, 17. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Holy cow. I can't believe that my messages are getting better and better every day because every time I hit a message like this, I'm learning too. I'm like, wow. How many times have I read this and just went, oh, wow, man, he was scared. He woke up. He had a nightmare. Yeah, he had a nightmare. He had a he had a real a reality nightmare. So what happens when you um, when you actually are awoke? You get you get 
you sh you start shaking in your boots. You start shaking in your boots because you're like, oh fuck. This if this isn't a spinning wet ball rocket. I didn't come from a monkey. This isn't just a. This isn't just a. Um. Uh, you only live once. YOLO lifestyle. This isn't. Um. I'm only here for one one shot, and I'm gonna get as much as I can. No, baby. This is a. This is a way station. This is where you lay down your head for a while. On this 3D junkyard, and you're judged, and you you're supposed to you're supposed to understand as you go where you are. So Jacob woke up and went, "Oh shit!" What do you say? I was afraid and said, "How dreadful is this place?" Seventeen. Huh. Um. How dreadful. Huh. What's it say? literally at his head in other words his head was spinning at his head literally at his head no that's 18 sorry awesome um and he was afraid and said how awesome is this place this is none other but the house of god and this is the gate of heaven so if you realize that we're this is God's house. We're in God's house. He built this. He built this for us. And it's, it's, it's better. It's better than it looks, but it's worse than it looks. It's, it has the potential to be heaven. This is his house. He's going to, he's going to clean house pretty soon. And when he cleans house, he's going to get rid of all these lies and he's going to get rid, rid of all these bullshitters, these shit talkers, these fuck faces that um, will lie right to your eyes. Yeah. And that's when this place is going to be awesome is when we can walk around going, we know where we're at. We know who we are. And this is how it's going to go. Not this. Oh, it's going to go this way this week. But then you're going to have to take off the mask next week. And then you're going to have to get an injection this week. But then you're going to have to get another one the next week. And then you're going to have to do this this week. And then you're going to have to do that the next week. No, 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 no. Everyone's going to know what to do, where they're going. And it's going to be a continual re... What would you call it? Not a rebirth, not a reinvention. It's going to be a continual... Um, upward motion of creation and things are going to go forward smoothly not fucking backwards all back and forth back and forth two steps up and four steps back like fucking Esau does here let's fuck it all up so we can fix it let's fuck it all up so we can fix it pretty soon you're not going to be able to fix it it's going to take the Lord so he says how awesome is this place this is none other but the house of God and this is the gate of heaven so when I say these things, like yesterday when I'm saying the earth is the land, we are the land. We are God. We are of God. We can't be anything but of God. If you're not, if you think you're a monkey, you are a fucking monkey. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillow and set. There's that word again, set it up for a pillar. And poured oil upon the top of it. So, so if this was a um, stone that was spinning around, he couldn't set up a pillar. He couldn't have, he couldn't have set a bunch of stones on top of it. He set it up for a pillow, the one he used to lay his head down on. See, and this is, this is stuff that um, the Lord's teaching me right now, and you're lucky. Blessed, fortunate um, to have a teacher who is a friend of the Most High. We're buddies. And people hate me for it, but fuck them. 
GMS probably hates me for it. They're like, who is this fucker? He doesn't give up. No, I don't give up. I'm, I, I'm the first, the last, the beginning, the end. I'm, I'm with God. I'm of this land. The pillar is about me. The land is about me. The rocks are about me. The, the bed is about me. Everything is set up. It's set. And Jacob rose early, verse 18, in the morning, just like I do every morning, and took the stone that he had put for his pillows, for his head. What's the head? The head is Yahawashai. So it says, this is all metaphoric and parabolic. Come on, people, get your literary caps on. That's why they don't teach you literature in the right way. They teach you literature to fuck with your head. And set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon it. And he called the name of the place Bethel, which means house of God. So when it, when it says Haran, Haran became Bethel, became the house of God. That's when Jacob woke up and said, how awesome is this place? This is the Lord's house. Do you build a house on a fucking mound? No, you have to make a foundation to build a house. It has to be flat. But the name of the city was called Luz at first. And Luz probably means spinning wet fucking retarded ball rocket. I don't know. <laughs> um, Luz, light, the light. Luz, probably... Probably a... Deviation of uh, light, lose, lo luminate, lo lose. I don't know. I, I I could look that up later. But the point of the matter. Oh, let me turn it around so you can see my my beautiful mug. The point of the matter. I know. I know a lot of you aren't here. They should be here because I still only get four to five views per message. But. The blood's off my hands, baby. I'm, not, I'm just doing what the Lord told me to do. It's 9.01, time for me to go to work. I'm an hour behind perfectly. It's funny. I still, I'm still on the same schedule with the sun and the moon and the light. And that's how we know. Um, Sorry, it's one of my uh, homeless, one of my old friends that's homeless. And um, I'm probably going to have to catch up with him at some point and say, hey, but that right now isn't the time. Um, so I hope you, I hope you were edified by this message about what this place is. And when you wake up, when you wake up, when you wake up to the fact that the, your pillow is Yahushai, you rest your head on him. He's your rest. We're going to Mount Zion. We're going home. This is Zion. And when, when we get rid of all the flotsam and jetsam, all these bonehead Edomites and Ammonites and Moabites, when we get them under control... Here's some more of them. See how they walk like robots? See that? See the gate? Do, 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 do. I, I don't, I'm not doing that to make fun of people. I'm just trying to point something out to you. I don't know if you see what I see. That's a, that's a beast. They move like beasts. They think like beasts. It's obvious to me now. It's like, they will run. We will run. So, I hope this message was edifying and, and powerful because that's where the power is. When you wake up, you realize we're in God's house. We're not <laughs> a little speck in a fucking big universe. That's fucking nonsense. Anyway, J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. I love you. If I was, um, if I was animated and um, overly energized. I apologize if, if I'm coming at you 
with Ah, the only word I could think of is arrogance and and condensed con cond I'm not I, I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> JD Nigel, I'm out.